hi there everyone and welcome to this video in today's video uh, we're going to talk about some functionality which uh, we came across during um, a uh, project delivery for uh, a customer that I've worked with uh, so it's quite interesting and uh, I'll just explain so um, we basically found uh, that the customer had a requirement to split uh, the payments for a single invoice okay so let's say they had uh, one invoice for a thousand pounds they needed to for example split the payment for that one thousand pound invoice into two payments of 500 pounds um, and that um, those two payments sorry of 500 pounds uh, would be taken for example the first one within 30 days and the next one within 60 days or 90 days or whatever okay so the idea was there was a, a requirement to um, split up this debt on their customer ledger um, and of course we can do this with a, uh, a modification in business central but um, it was actually um, on an Italian version of Business Central that we uh, came across some functionality which did exactly this and um, thanks go out to uh, my customer for this video uh, loved working on the project with you guys uh, miss working with you guys as well but hey here we go let's uh, let's get into it guys and uh, I should say before I begin here you'll notice looking at the uh, the top of the screen here I'm in Cronus IT so that's Cronus in uh, in Italy this is an Italian localized version of Business Central okay so um, just be weary some of the things um, that you may see here uh, may not be there in the normal videos that I do and that's because this is an Italian version of Business Central I usually work in a GB localization uh, but anyway let's get into it guys okay so I'm going to come into my um, cash management here and I'm going to go into my payment terms now I haven't changed anything from here it's just the demonstration environment demonstration data um, but here what we can see is um, the payment terms for 30 times 3 FM okay and what we basically have here is the payment numbers um, and this basically denotes the number of payments that are to be taken when this particular payment term is used on an invoice okay so if I drill down into this 3 you can see here that I've got payment percentage 33.3 33.3 and 33.34 and each one of these look has its own due date calculation okay so what this payment term would do when used on an invoice is that it would split up the invoice into 33.3 33.3 and 33.4 and it would age those entries as we see on the due date calculations here pretty clever right and this is all editable as you imagine you can create your own payment terms you can create your own payment percentages as well okay so what we'll go ahead and do now is I'll just show you this functionality on a sales invoice let's go into new and I'm gonna add a customer to my invoice I'm just gonna add a line here and sorry I can't use that one I'll tell you what I'll just use an item it's the first time I'm using this environment um, so let's go in and set the quantity at one and I'm just going to overwrite the unit price there to be a thousand and final thing I'm going to do on this invoice is just use our split payments um, payment terms so there's the one 30 times 3 and one thing that I'll show you on the invoice before I go ahead and post it is if I go actions functions and payments you'll see the amounts here okay so that's the same data that we were seeing on the payment term screen earlier this time we've got some due dates um, as per the calculated um, due dates from our invoice okay Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and post and say yes. And we just get a message here saying the invoice is posted as number 24 102025 
and move to the posted sales invoices window. Do you want to open the posted invoice? So I'm going to say yes. And on the posted version of the invoice, I'm going to go into find entries to view all my sub ledger entries. And if I go into the customer ledger entries, you'll notice there are three of those. And if I scroll to the right here, you'll see, look, I've got 399.96, 399.96 and 400.08 for my single invoice. And I've got the different due dates here as per what we set on the payment terms window. OK, so the idea is here that you've got one document number, but you've got three different customer ledger entries. Why do we have three? Well, it's because we want to split the payments um, for those uh, these these invoice um, transactions. Uh, so please feel free to have a play and check it out yourself. But we also have look different GL postings as well to the general ledger. OK, so um, just um, consider that for um, your your um, system when you're setting this up. Um, so that is everything that I wanted to show you here in this video. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.